three years ago I had an accident. Mm -hmm. I have a car accident, so I got hit by the car. Mm -hmm. So I have surgery in this. Gotcha. And then uh, since I have surgery, mm -hmm. I started using this hand because this one has a uh, pain. And then uh, mm -hmm. after that I I feel a little pain, just a little. Then more and more. Mm -hmm. Now I feel uh, so much pain in this shoulder, right shoulder. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. What particular activities you have trouble doing with this right shoulder? Uh, sometimes when I sit, I can be like this. Sitting so much time because I feel the pain mm -hmm. from here to all the way here. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes when I go to sleep, I can be sleeping uh, mm -hmm. like, like this. So in then I can sleep in the top of my shoulder because right. it's too much pain. Mm -hmm. So I can be like this. Or mm -hmm. uh, what else have you been going on? Um, my back too, mm -hmm. is pain, mm -hmm. and uh, my knee and my shoulder, my foot. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Here's what you do. With your left one, reach yeah. behind like this. Left hand first, and then reach behind the okay. back. Okay, switch. Let me see your right hand. Got it. Reach behind here with the left hand first. Okay, no problems? No problem. To the right one, please. Yeah, this one, I feel, this, I feel pain. Where do you feel the pain? Right here. Okay, uh, let's show to everybody over here. This one right here. I feel the pain. Yeah, Work. inside. You know, like a, inside? Yeah, like Got a, it. Like a burn pain. Burning sensation. Got it. All right, so we'll go ahead and relax there. So, when a patient presents with a shoulder problem, there's a couple regions that are responsible for innovating this region over here. So if he had trouble reaching behind, above, go ahead and reach, touch this over here. So if he had troubles over here, go ahead and relax. I would focus more on what's going on in the neck and also the upper back over here. But now I reach behind over here in the back. So since he has trouble doing external rotation, what I'm going to focus on is mid dorsals over here and also this region over here, the upper lumbars and up to the fourth lumbar. Why? Because the muscles that are responsible for this region over here, the rhomboids, major and minor, control right in his middle dorsals over here. And also, we also have the latissimus dorsi, also known as the lats. And they're attached from here, from the, <coughs> from the inferior, inferior angle of the scapula, all the way down to the lumbars, and also the fascia attachment to the sacral region and they go all the way wraps around to the front part this is with the most strongest muscle that's responsible for such as pulling things meaning how you open the doors you pull it open that's what this muscle is responsible for now since he has trouble doing that actions we're going to take a look what's going on in this one region over here and also this region over here as well we're starting off with instrumentation and what we're looking for is any abnormalities in temperature. And we found one at this level right here. There's only one point. So it gives us an idea that this problem, it's a chronic nerve. So we're tilting it right now. And now we can see a little easier. Right at this level. That there's a potential problem we've got to take a closer look at. Now we have the same story down in this region over here. It's barely registering one point to the right. So we're gonna tilt the scope. And again, this is a chronic nerve. Now we see it's more prominent. Right at this level, we're gonna take a closer look. Now it's very difficult to see over here. Okay. At this spot right here, because this area is chronic, it's been here for a long time, the swelling, the edema is not as prominent. So when I feel it do with static palpation, I feel there's like a bogginess over here, a, like a swampiness feeling right here. So I'm gonna mark right at that level. We have one very prominent sw swelling right across. It feels like a speed bump over here. And even though it's not as very prominent, during static patient, we could feel it. Feel this ridge over here? Yeah. Smooth, bump, smooth. Yeah. So the hips are swiveling back and forth without a problem. Ah, 
So we've got this sacrum over here, it's stuck on the left side. It's not swiveling too, awfully too well right there. So you can move this easily on the, left, on the right side, mm -hmm. but this left side right over here, you feel that right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's not moving. Let's check the right hip, move it back and forth without a problem. All right, now let's go ahead and check this fifth. How's that feel right there? What does that feel like to you? Okay. That right there, it's stuck. Mm -hmm. That's not moving. So when I take a look at your films over here, mm -hmm. normal supposed to look like this straight over here. Okay. What does yours look like? Little. Well, it kind of okay. looks straight over here, and then suddenly tilts over to the right side. Yeah, that's okay. It continues so. over this way and leans over this way again. Okay. Why is that? Well, I want to take a look, see what's going on at the foundational level. Why? Because just like a foundation for a house or the Leaning Tower of Pisa, okay. right? If we don't have proper foundation, everything else will not be stable. So when I take a look at this region over here. There is an issue. Okay. When I take a closer look right at this spot over here, mm -hmm. this bone, this spot right over here, that's fractured. Oh. Right. Meaning, this portion right over here and the opposite side, both sides broke off. Okay. So that's why this bone over here, it went a little bit forward. That's what we're seeing over here. At this lumbar. We also see this prominently over here. See that space over here? Yeah. We shouldn't see that space. See this over here? Mm -hmm. Nice and solid. We see this break right over here and right over here. So yeah, it's a very bad deal. We've got a fracture right in that spot. So what can we do about this? Well, that ship has already sailed. I can't fix that. That for that one, if you want to get to the next level, you could possibly consider surgery to help fuse and stabilize this area. Or a conservative way how we deal with it in the Gonset method is this. This is your sacred foundation. We tested this one on you. And you mentioned when I checked it right in the back on the left side, it says, oh yeah, that hurts. Yeah, we got it. So since this bone went a little forward. I could push this bone a little forward as well to push it right underneath to give it more stability for this fellow over here. See, this is your fifth lumbar disc. Mm -hmm. All the structures above it okay. is this. Now, if you have the proper bony support, this fellow over here, it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. However, since it's fractured off, oh, that's what you mean. exactly, it's not staying put. Mm -hmm. So we're saying this bone can go anywhere forward, backwards, to the sides, mm -hmm. diagonally, any direction. Okay. That's what's going on in your case. The only thing that's holding this, this disc in place right now is your ligaments and muscles. So what's key on your component is this. You gotta do a lot of lower core exercises to keep this structure more stable. Now, next component is this. Because everything has become unstable, that help explain why all these discs over here became unstable mm -hmm. and they start breaking down and degenerate. And this one over here, number six, that's what that mid back okay. problem we were talking about before. Mm -hmm. That one over there, it supplies nerve function to your shoulder blade. In the future, should I have to do the surgery? Well, that's a good question. So the deal is this as long as you work on your lower core, we can avoid that. In addition to stabilizing from chiropractic corrections okay. frequently, and this is something that's going to be done for the rest of your life because you're still active. You're not a stone statue. Mm -hmm. So since you're still active from time to time, it's going to need a correction. Now, I'm not saying every single day. Okay. No. Majority of our patients who have a parse fracture like that, they should come in just once a month just to maintain and mm -hmm. keep that fella in proper alignment, mm -hmm. keep it stabilized as much as possible. Relax your shoulder. Don't worry, I'm not shoulder at all. Okay. Just relax. Come on up. Put your hand behind your back. Okay. All right. How's the right shoulder? A little less pain. By how much less, would you say? From five, I mean from ten, like uh, seven or... 
Okay, so we're saying about 30% improvement, so mm -hmm. from 10 down to 7? Yeah. Got it. All right. How is the low back? Let's go to shoulders go. Get them on. There. Pump this up because it's chronic. I felt that. That's a part of it that already went. How's that right shoulder now? Yeah. Less pain than before. So you said it came from 10 to 7 before the conversion. Mm -hmm. What is so it now? now? Like a 3. A 3. three, three yeah. So now we're assessing the glamour humeral itself. Check it for an SC joint, AC joint, scapula, which is moving fine. Glamour humeral itself, and there's our problem. So now we're circumducting the glamour hill joint to increase more synovial fluid into this joint before we do the correction. Okay, just relax. Right, 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 right over here. Just relax. Last shot. There we go. Awesome. Give it a try. Yeah, I'm going to last thing. So you're saying it with a burning sensation, what is it now? A little less. Less? Mm -hmm. How much less? Uh, well, seven before, like uh, four or five. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So that's all we could do for you today. So what I want you to do is this. I need you to ice this region over here. 20 minutes, three times a day. Okay. Same deal with your low back as well. Ice, okay. You got ice. Okay. And also apply some ice over here as well. All three spots. Try to cool them down. And this one over here, constantly circumduct, meaning stretch like this, mm -hmm. going backwards as well. So with your left foot, it's not dorsiflexing upwards as, as well. So, this is stuck. Yeah, stuck on the lateral side. Definitely. So we have a talus problem. So we're gonna fix this right now. We're gonna pump out the joint. Mm -hmm. Get some more fluid in there. There we go. It's ready to go. Let it go. A little more. There we go. Go ahead, walk. Fill us in. How's that left foot? Good. Feel bad now. Good. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Anything else? No. Well. All right. So we're all set. Don't forget. I stole three That's spots. Mm -hmm. On our next visit, let us know what's going on with the knee. Okay. And we're all good. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Sure.